With plastic waste very much in the spotlight, how should businesses respond? Jonathan Gibson went to see how Sabic is seeking a solution to the problem and how the company can play their role in the creation of a circular economy for plastics. At its innovation centre in the Netherlands, Sabic is helping to change the direction of a plastics industry under the spotlight. This leading producer of polyethylene, polypropylene and advanced thermoplastics is now developing new and sustainable solutions for a whole range of industries, including food packaging. The conversations that you're having with your customers are changing. Oh, definitely. They are changing tremendously. If I compare a year ago to today, the discussions we're having with our customers are now largely about sustainability and circular economy. Customers are asking us, what is it that Sevec can do to help us meet the end market uh, needs? And in areas like food packaging, I mean, this is a, one example of that evolution in practice. So the, the coating on this uh, carton is made from waste from another industry. It is waste from the wood industry. So a waste stream is used to make a plastic, which is just as safe as uh, to use in, in, in food packaging as the traditional uh, plastics are. It has the same uh, quality and properties as virgin material, but again, it is for, made from a, uh, a waste stream. Reusing waste is fundamental to creating a circular economy for plastics, but turning ambition into reality also requires changes in thinking. Traditionally, this industry is very much a linear industry, where you take uh, NAFTA, which is an, a derivative of uh, the oil uh, industry, and you use that to make uh, plastics. In the future, uh, far more than uh, today, the industry will need to make it possible that materials are being reused. But the plastics industry isn't alone in having to adapt to changing expectations. In the next few years, electric cars will transform the motor vehicle industry. Sabic is already working with manufacturers to develop new plastic and composite parts, building sustainability into both design and production. The unique opportunity with plastic is that we have the solution for that due to the functional integration, due to the capacity to develop 3D designs which are simply not feasible with metal, uh, due to the capacity of hybrid, so composite plastic, metal plastic, local reinforcement, combination of material, but again without any compromise, weight, performances and cost. So one part, one minute, one shot, just in time delivery. So this is one example of how innovation can really make a difference. This is part of a, a car dashboard, in fact. Yeah, so this is really the structural part, and we are replacing probably around 10 metal parts with a single uh, plastic solution. Again, one shot, one part, one minute. And on top of that, the plastic part processing. So injection foaming, in that case, enable also a density reduction. Very good example, again, of industry solution. This can-do approach is also helping Sabic to find sustainable solutions for the construction industry, which has considerable potential to help save thermal energy through insulation. This new form of pipe insulation uses a different blend of materials to create a product which is longer-lasting and completely recyclable. Now this is a solution we have developed together with a value chain partner and they were looking for a more sustainable solution. So we bring in the resins, they bring in the knowledge about uh, the requirements of the market and jointly we, uh, we develop a good solution. The uniqueness of this is that this is made through a physical foaming process, as we call it. So you melt the polymers, you put the gas in and then when it comes out of the extruder, the gas expands and, and with that you have immediately the foam structure. Um, that makes the foam recyclable. The incumbent products or the, the products which are being used today they are less recyclable. Building a construction is, uh, in Europe is consuming about 40% of our energy. 36% of CO2 is emitted through building constructions. Now, these type of solutions, they will reduce uh, the energy consumption and by that also the CO2 reduction. But whether it's helping to reduce greenhouse gases or finding ways of creating the circular economy, Sabic's passion for innovation is helping to turn today's real-world problems into sustainable solutions for some of the world's biggest industrial players.